Hey y'all, in case you don't know who I am, I'm Valerie with Our Forever Farm. And uh, welcome, welcome to our YouTube family. I wanted to share something on here that I'm doing on Facebook, on my Facebook page. It's also Our Forever Farm. Um, I am actually doing it myself. Um, and I'm just sharing it with Facebook and wanted to share it with you. And you can do it however you want to do it. But I started what I call a uh, journal. And the title of the journal is New Beginnings. And, uh, you know, people make resolutions, New Year's resolutions every year, and they don't keep them. And um, I'm really not a big believer in resolutions. Um, <clears throat> but I am a believer in goals. And one thing about me is I have found that I can do anything I want to do. And um, the thing is making the time to do them. Uh, and also somebody either teaching me or telling me or showing me how to do them. And um, so I'm starting with my journal. You are welcome to join us. I'm excited about it myself. And this week, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you what we've done so far this week. We're just building a journal to help us accomplish some things in 2021. 2020 hasn't been fun. But the way I feel about it, is we need to make the best of everything. So moving on with our New Beginnings Journal, the first thing we did this week, or I did, and I hope many joined me, is my title on my first page was Using What I Have in My Home to Make My Home More Warm and Cozy. Um, and you know, we all have things in our home that um, that we can use without spending money. Um, now, there'll come an entry in this journal where, you know, we, we will want to purchase some things. Uh, there's, there's things I want, um, not much, but things I want, and you do too. So I guess on this point, it's, uh, it's you, uh, using what we have at our home. We, I just want us to look around at our homes. And that's what this uh, YouTube channel, that's what my Facebook page is about, that's what my blog is about. Um, it's about home and um, how we should appreciate what we have. You really don't know what you have till it's gone. Um, I'm going to give you an example of something that uh, is on my list under this category, using what I have. I have a rug that I just purchased um, off of Marketplace on Facebook, and uh, it is I love it. It's unique. I love different stuff, um, and uh, I've had it for several weeks, and we put it in the living room, and something just clicked and that's not where it needs to be. I love change. I, I do, I love change. And you'll see at different times, different things in my home will look different. Um, the rug. Uh, I want it in my keeping room. And um, one thing we did over the holidays is Sweet Hunter moved the love seat out that's been there for almost seven years. And uh, we moved our two recliners out of our living room into the keeping room. The keeping room is right next to the kitchen and it has uh, the wood heater. And so that's our place of rest in the winter. I looked at the rug in the living room and I thought it needs to be in the keeping room. So that's one thing on my list. That's the kind of things I'm talking about. Just something little like that. And there are more things on my list, and it'll take time to do them. Okay, the next category that I talked about on Facebook is about learning. 
<clears throat> and um, I'm at a stage in my life, we don't have little children running around. Uh, if we did, uh, my view on this would look different. It would be including them uh, and teaching them. It's just about learning, learning new things, learning something that's a desire of your heart. You know, this could be anywhere from a Bible study to uh, learning how to draw, how to crochet. It could be putting a puzzle together. And I mentioned all those things. My mom, she, she really can do anything, although she says she can't. But um, she quilts, beautiful quilts. Um, hers are patterns, and they're, and, and they're just, she, she designs them, and they're unique, and there'll never be another one like that. Uh, she also tells me, and I'm not a big reader of books. I want to be. I'm a want to be on everything. But she also tells me she can take a book on a rainy afternoon and she can travel all over the world she, without leaving her house. I think that's awesome. I've also got a friend that lives on the lake and when she first showed me her house, she showed me the screen and porch and she said, this is where I stay and this is where I read. So that category is learning. And so you can, Teach yourself anything. I mean, we have YouTube. It's, it's, it's at our fingertips. And Philippians 4.13 says we can do anything through Christ. So he does give us the desires of our heart. So if you have a desire of your heart, or several like me, uh, put them under the learning category. And let's make it fun. Uh, yeah, let's make it fun. You don't want it to be like a job. You want it to be fun. Learn something fun, learn something new. It, even if it's one thing in 2021, I have several on my list. I probably won't reach them all, but, um, but I want to. I have a friend, she's got a, a YouTube channel. Her name's Marlene and um, she, uh, the name of her channel is Stitching by the Lake. And she is a cross stitcher and she does so many projects. And I watched her the other day, and uh, she gets on, she's on a, I guess it's like a club called Floss Tube, and they show their projects, they show their works in progress, and they show what they finished, and she just tells you about her life. Well, the other day, I think, if I'm not wrong, she finished 70, I'm thinking 70-ish projects this past year, during 2020. I could not imagine but she's an inspiration to me. She might can finish 70 something projects where I can only finish one and that's okay. Finishing, that's the key word. I'm a procrastinator and procrastination is the thief of time. And so that's why I'm making this New Beginnings Journal. The next category is finances. Now, um, you, you can do whatever you want. If, if the, under finances, you want to clean up your checkbook. If you want to make a plan to get out of debt. Um, this is not about purchasing items. This is about finances. Um, we'll talk about purchasing things later. Um, now, you can put savings under there. Uh, do you have a savings category? And uh, I can't tell you detail to detail how to get out of debt, although we have done it, uh, but I can steer you in the right direction. So that is an important part to me, is to keep up with your finances. Know where your money is. Look at your bank account. Um, if you get some money that you weren't expected, act like you don't have it. There's so many things you can do under this category, finances. And you do you, I'm gonna do me. So, well, me and Sweet Hunter. The next category that we went over this week is decluttering. Um, home is the nicest word I know. And uh, I want it to be nice. Now, around my recliner, you might, if you came in my house, you would see several projects sitting there that when I sit with Sweet Hunter and he's watching his hunting, boring, um, 
did I say boring? I hope he's not watching this. But he's watching his hunt, hunting or his fishing or his car shows. Uh, he doesn't watch sports anymore. Uh, but, uh, and I want to be with him, but he's in his world and I'm in mine. So I want something to do with my hands. I want something to do. And I'm actually working on something uh, in the learning category that I'm trying. I've actually impressed myself, to be honest. Um, but decluttering your home is so important and everybody does it this time of year. But then what do we do? We go out and we bring more stuff in. So um, everybody has a hot spot and y'all know I love Fly Lady. If you don't know who she is, Google her. Uh, she, I follow all her principles. I don't do it exactly like she does, but she changed my life. Uh, Dave Ramsey changed my life on finances. Our lives, I should say. Um, I have learned that everything doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to clean all the time. Uh, but... And, and our home is country. It's a farmhouse, and I love, um, I don't like clutter, but as you can see, I do like stuff displayed, and um, and this is not how, how I want it. This is one of the things on, on my list uh, that I want to fix, but um, my hot spot that I need to declutter is always upstairs, always. And it's where I put things that uh, I'm halfway through with or I want to change up, for example, the ch this buffet, china cabinet, whatever you call it. In my house, it's not china. Uh, but um, I, I'll get tired of something and I'll put it up there and I'll bring something else down. And you'll never see my house the same. It's never the same. Um, I do little, I change up little things all the time. Um, but decluttering is so important. You don't want your living spaces cluttered. Uh, yeah, you want to live in your homes. Um, Sweet Hunter used to be such a perfectionist. And really, he still is, but he's lightened up some. Um, I will be honest, if it was up to him, there wouldn't be anything on this back here. We probably wouldn't even have this. There wouldn't be a picture hanging on the wall. Um, unless it's of his deer, <laughs> that would be on the wall. Uh, but, and, and that's why a woman is so important. Um, he always tells me in the spring, uh, after I've planted my flowers outside in all the pots, uh, he says, it does make a difference. It really does. A woman's touch. And you know, we're special. We're special. And uh, we do have a different way of doing things. Um, I am not the best decorator, that's for Decluttering sure. Decluttering your home is not to make it spotless, but it's to make it homey and junk free. Stuff is just stuff. It's actually more than stuff. It's just clutter. If you don't love it, don't bring it in your home. Today is New Year's Day, and everybody wants to start fresh. Um, and to start fresh, we have to have clean homes. We've discussed doing something fun by learning, We've discussed using what you, ha you have in your home without spending money to make your home cozy and warm and inviting. Uh, we've talked about uh, our finances and, uh, you know, there can be clutter in that. And uh, we want to get that organized and we want to get out of debt and we want to quit spending uh, on things that aren't necessary. There's a difference in wants and needs. And... Um, We've talked about decluttering our homes, our cars, our pocketbooks. There's so many things, our lives. Um, now, we're gonna move on Monday to starting cleaning. And um, I have a little uh, card file that I do, and I've shared it every January, uh, but I do steer you toward Fly Lady because you can take so much from her 
uh, and learned so much. Um, some, yes, is silly, uh, but she gets people's attention and she makes a difference. But um, I do have a title for each day of the week um, of the things I want to do. Uh, I may not follow them perfectly, um, but we'll get into that next week. So Monday, we'll be starting a uh, cleaning series. We'll still work in our New Beginnings Journal and we'll be adding categories. And we'll be hopefully getting things done. But you cannot have a new beginning in a messy, dirty house. And I'm pretty firm on that. Uh, I, will make, I will make this statement. Toys on the floor when you have children, to me, is not a mess. Um, it's not dirty. Um, but I do encourage you to clean that up before bedtime where you can wake up and smile when you go into your den or your living room. And I've taught you about your sink. You don't want to leave your dirty dishes in your sink. You don't want to leave a dirty kitchen, you know, unless you're sick or something. And um, it just makes you smile to get up to. So we'll be starting that next week. And I'll try to do another video on next, uh, I'll try to do one on Fridays for a while. Just summarizing what we've did during the week. Uh, you can join me on Facebook, uh, Our Forever Farm. You can join me on my blog, uh, Life's Little Garden. Uh, I've got a cooking blog and y'all know I cook. Um, all the links are in the description box. I want to hear what you want to do. I want to hear what you're doing. I want to hear if you're joining in on this series. Um, I want to hear from you on YouTube. So comment and like and subscribe and ring that little bell. But be looking every Friday. I'm going to try to do this. I'm not going to say it'll be every Friday, but I'm going to try. Not too long ago, we started a home tour of our house and and this is not a fancy house and most everything in it is estate sales yard sales or family uh, hand-me-downs um, and we're going to continue that later but that's kind of what this is too it's a home series i want you to love your home i love my home you know, I've loved every home we've lived in, from an apartment to a trailer um, to the farm. Um, Y'all would die if you knew how many times we moved in our marriage. Uh, but it's got us to where we are now. And we love our home, all our homes. And um, I want you to love yours too. And that's what this is all about. That and accomplishing some things in 2021. 2021. Uh, I'm not sure how different it's going to look from 2020. Um, I hope everybody will do the right thing. And as my mom's pastor says, trust God, but lock your doors. I mean, who doesn't lock their doors at night? And who doesn't trust God? I do. I trust him with all my heart. He's brought me through so much. So y'all join me next Friday on um, this little home series called New Beginnings.